Welcome back to the channel and we're back again with another update on yield nodes. So we do have some brand new news covering this whole yield node situation. So again, if you guys want to stay up to date, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because as soon as there is yield node news, I will get it covered on my channel. And also drop a like if any of this helps you guys out. Before we get any further though, just a quick disclaimer. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. Please do your own research and only invest which you are willing to lose. So on the Yield Nodes website, we have a brand new news article. Open letter from U Kulun, sorry if I've said that name wrong, an official credit reform assessment of one of his companies, Milwaukee GMVH, which was falsely disparaged. And that was again today and the early hours of the morning. Dear DCNME friends, we enclose to publish the open letter of our partner. I've spoken to him a lot during the last days. He still stands behind us despite all unfair attacks on this person and his companies and will bring the tsunami to a new level with his assets. We have been working together for several years and have been preparing the IPI group for the tsunami for more than a year. Although U will not have to, he also publishes the balance sheet analysis and the related economic evaluation of Milwaukee GmbH by credit reform. The listing of the individual assets will take a few more weeks since it was planned to integrate the first assets into Decinemy only in 2023. The auditor of the IPI group of companies needs a few more weeks to prepare the list of assets to be integrated into Decinemy in the first step. There are other business partners who want to bring in their assets. So details about the IPI group can be found here. So this is IPI. Again, if you are looking to stay into your nodes slash your nodes pro, maybe look at the IPI group because that is one of the your nodes investment. So of course you want to do your own research on that company. Page is not up to date, but you can find a lot of information about IPI group and its developments. However, the IPI webpage it's being revised just like all decenomy or related web pages. Since this concerns more than 30 websites with a lot of content, it will surely take weeks until all the websites are up to date. We will in the next days provide a link list of the posts about IPI projects from other sites. As Ul writes in his letter, he lives, our lives take place in the real world and only for a limited extent in the virtual world. Therefore, the focus so far has been on business in the real world. However, we will now also provide the relevant information online. In this way, we are showing how virtual tools can improve and manage the real economy. However, it will not create virtual assets that are only used for gambling. Our NFT acts as value certificates for real assets and thus enable to manage the real values in a decenomy and to build up a value register. Only in this way it is possible to build a sustainable economic system with valuable coins as a sector currencies. And then that is from us. So here is the IPI open letter. So here we can see dear Urs, the International Power Invest AG founded in 2013 is a holding company that write, unites various companies worldwide under its umbrella. The focus of all corporate entities is on sustainability in all areas of life and the creation and application of economic and ecological technologies that reduce the consumption or resources that consume them. Our subsidiaries focus on relevant energies, electricity storage, charging infrastructure for electric vehicles, storage, logistics, fintech, AI and IT as well as recycling technologies. Companies and various properties in Germany, Italy, Malta, power plants in Germany, Italy and Iran, charging infrastructure for electric vehicles, electricity storage for peak power, smoothing laboratories and recycling plants for industrial processing of all types of biomass and various patterns of these technologies. Bit of a mouthful there. In addition, their shareholdings in a renowned internationally active assets management company and in a music and book publishing company with around 1 million titles. So there are four pages of this. Again, I would say if you want to head over to the Yilna's website, you can read through because it is going to be a long old video. But yeah, share this letter with your investors and partners. Please don't ask them to flood us with inquiries. 
especially inappropriate messages that we do not understand. So that is the IPI group. Uh, again, they will be updating their website, I believe. But if you want to know about them, that is the IPI group. Next up, this is from Credit Reform, the Commercial Report. So this is about the company, I believe. Milwaukee GMBH company identification. You have all of the details on this page. So I see the company will not fail with a probability of 99%. Payment behavior with agreed terms. Credit limit is 25,000. And yeah, that is the company details. If you want to look through all of them, you can see the participants. And this is really awkward actually read these documents. But yeah, here you can see a lot of the company details from that commercial report. And then next up, statement on yesterday's video and further cooperation with the group. It gives itself name yieldnodes.legal. I'm not sure if this is actually. So this is actually a website here, yieldnodes.legal. We will look into that later on. But here we can see the frozen estimated funds. So yeah, there's a responding to this. The video was announced with a very deformity image of our partner, U, which later was at least changed to an image and is no longer manipulated. Nevertheless, we want to be fair to wait for this video before making any further decisions regarding further cooperation with this group. Well, what came next was unsurpassable in terms of un unprofessionalism and incompetence. We thought that was a shame because we thought we were dealing with smart people. I've written almost 12 pages, but I only point out a few essential points which have simply sopply researched and facts were misrepresented. Whether this happened intentionally or out of stupidity, we have determined in later legal disputes, calling oneself Jesus and hiding in anonymity will delay, but certainly not prevent this. Even the initial comment that it's only his interpretation was only covered by freedom of opinion as long as there is no international misrepresentation here that gives the appearance of an objective assessment. Now to my statement, I will begin with the first, with the last, large uncovered insight address the baltic sea so yeah it's a big old post here next up so we have it was indoctrinated that all companies of mr Kloon are only registered to one address which is not true and that therefore be quite obvious letterbox company one could have cleared up a mistake by a simple internet search feed google maps of the address the small white building on the top left is the administrative building where you can see all the companies are located. It has three floors, etc. And yeah, that's the building basically saying that it is a real place. North data analysis, very obvious error in the research that claim that the North data is a research tool would be suitable to illuminate companies and structures. North data perhaps, but for basic search like Google, uh, unlike e.g. credit form that only uses publishing totals for balance list, etc. So there's a link responding to that. Then there's a thing about the basic business administration, about the actual business incorporation, etc. And then here is the deficiencies in IPI and Decenomy websites, which is what we read through earlier. So conclusion, we will continue to expand communication and community. However, we will discontinue communication with your nodes dot legal. Group has only self-interest, thus harm a solution, but all and waste our time. The members of this group are interested in a holistic solution they're welcome to join their discord server otherwise as already from them have announced we will have to take the legal route statement comes from Urs, etc so there is their big legal post in response to this website yieldnodes.legal i didn't actually know this was a thing but yeah this has the open letter and i believe you can actually Put your address report my account and you can add that stuff so now just taking a quick look in the your nodes discord their announcement is basically just what has been added to the website and we have two new server announcements tldr this is comprehensive and understandable a lot of questions have been made on this server we will do this in a batch of 10 questions at a time as with everything your nodes can talk and vote so let's see if it's work questions will be open so everyone can put their questions in as it will be asked one question per user with that said if you have more asked more than one question you're eligible for the vote there'll be one batch of 10 questions so every point can be addressed so these questions have not gone through yet there will be a question vote channel so everyone can submit their questions and then they can be voted on and i will give you guys an update as soon as we actually get all of those details through 
but i hope you did enjoy this video again with anything covering yield nodes make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date and i will be giving you guys the details as soon as we get any further information but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next one